Welcome to the Bad Entertainment Show. I'm your DJ, DJ Big Daddy Kane. Tonight's show is brought to you by Howard's Tollmaster, 2000 Linager Avenue, Elkhart, Indiana. Tonight's special guests are the general manager of Howard's Tollmaster and sponsor of the Bad Entertainment team, Jerry Kingdig, next generation owner, operator of McDonald's, Myasha Smith, director of the Tulsa Community Center, Clyde Riley, and food drive performer, Danielle Spencer. And now here's your host, Risha Ledesma and Michael Wells. Ooh, we're back. Michiana. Yay. Another segment of the Bad Entertainment Show in the Heezy. In the Heezy, we off are Off the Heezy, off the chain for ZZ. Well, we've been busy. When, when, when is Snoop Dogg? <laughs> <laughs> When's he coming out? When's he coming out? So we're, we're happy to be back for another Bad Entertainment Show with you guys. This is a um, special edition of the Bad Entertainment Show, a uh, special food drive edition. Um, the Bad Entertainment second annual Tolson Community Center Elkhart County Youth Festival Day is July 26th, the last Saturday of this month. Right. It's coming up pretty quick. From noon to six, entertainment till 7 p.m. That's right. Yeah. And, um, so this is a special edition tonight. No dancers tonight, my dance team's not here, so we have, uh, we have a bunch of good special guests. It's gonna be a good show. A lot of community-oriented people that's gonna spread the word about what's going on on that day. Cool, cool. So. What's been going on, Rish? I don't know, you tell me what kind of, what Did show? you see the ESPN magazine pictures? Have you, have you ever seen those? No, I don't. The ESPN magazine pictures are getting big like the Sports Illustrated. Oh, the swimsuit, swimsuit edition? Yes. Um, everyone's on their naked. Well, of course. And um, it's uh, Venus, the N tennis player, uh, Venus Williams. The one, he's a huge baseball player. See, you know what my sports are. Yeah. Tennis, which, you know, I yeah. got. And well, I'm golf, that's it. But it was on the news this morning, so I figured we'd talk about it at the show. Those, those are pretty neat pictures. Well, pictures are just so racy these days. It's like there's nothing to the, you know, it's just out the, there. Yeah. Nothing to the imagination, it's, nothing left to the imagination. It's just out there. <laughs> it's like, okay, you can tell times are changing. Those, those, I thought those were pretty cool. And like I said, that, that addition of the ESPN, ESPN magazine is getting be big like the Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition. So what are they doing to get those covers or those shots? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's that's pretty interesting because I know here in, in the studio, you know, we have people in the background and behind the scenes, and I don't know if I would want to come out here, you know. No, that's just doing too much to the world. No, 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 no thank you. What about that show, Naked and Afraid? Yeah, wh what what is that about? <sighs> what what is that? I mean, it, there's all kind of reality shows nowadays. It's just. I mean, next there'll be one about how to change a tire yeah. and who can do it the fastest. Exactly. It's just a mess. I, I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed. Lug nuts are us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys. <laughs> Let's see how much before we blow this tire out. Yeah, exactly. Another interesting thing I found on the uh, internet today, and I said, oh, we'll talk about it on the show tonight. Um, on my Yahoo homepage was the top 100 richest families in America. What if number that, was I? If they, that ain't depressing. <laughs> uh, it said top 100. It didn't go to top 100,000. <laughs> we way down on that list. <laughs> but yeah, like um, number 10, uh, Duncan family, they have some energy company or something like that, and they're worth uh, $25.4 billion. That's all? Yeah, they're number 10. Um, S.C. Johnson, you know Johnson Johnson, like Madeira. I know Johnson Johnson when I smell Johnson Johnson. <laughs> That one, Johnson Johnson. 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 The kente oil. <laughs> that man smelled oh, like kente, kente oil. oil. <laughs> the sheets and everything over there smelled like kente oil. <laughs> <laughs> See? Madeira. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, we're back. Okay. <laughs> Johnson & Johnson is um, $25.5 billion. The Hyatt, the hotel, the hotel people, change. they're mm -hmm. $29 billion. Cox family, it didn't say what they did. It didn't, tell you. it didn't say, so they're, they're $32 billion. Um, 
this newspaper guy. Hearst News? Yeah, they're um, $35 billion. Um, Edwards, that Fidelity, mm -hmm. that um, investment yep. thing. Financial. They're $39 billion. Uh, Cargill, they have a little bit of everything in their, in their bio. Um, they're $45, $43 billion, sorry. Mars, mm -hmm. the candy, candy company. I'm the reason they're at sixty billion. <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm just letting you well, know. What's my excuse? No. <laughs> the Mars company's at sixty billion, and I have a lot to do with that. With the Ruffles family. Yeah. <laughs> some nuggets up in here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, Crouch, uh, C O C H. Koch. Koch. Mm -hmm. They didn't say what they did either. Um, Eighty-nine billion, and everybody knows the richest family in America. Mm -hmm. The Walton family, the, the the kids of the owners of Walmart, Walmart. It's like hundred and fifty two billion dollars. I mean, it must just, be nice. What can you do with all that money? Um, write me a check and I'll show you. <laughs> Here, let me get my purse. <laughs> Move your foot. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, write me a check for one hundred and fifty two billion. I'll show you. Oh, man, it's just. Whew. You just got to work hard to get there, I guess, and, you know, you're on your way. Yeah. Well, the, you know, these people, they worked hard. They, they deserve the money they have, but that's, that's a lot of money. Well, some of them were just kind of born into it. Born into it, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's, took that's, over the realm there. And my wife and I, we got into a discussion, and Risha's been around me for 20-plus years, so she knows the, the, the discussions I get into with my wife. And um, <sighs> she was saying that uh, the Walmart... Mm -hmm. It's just not like it's not like a family store anymore. They don't have that family feel. You don't feel like family when you walk through the door. And I told her, I said, Tammy, when you got three stores, five stores, you can have that family feel. Right. When you got a, a gazillion stores, you can't. You know that the the company grew. Yeah, so you just it's, lose that. Yeah, you lose that, and it get lost in the mix. So. Okay, it's that time, isn't it? Is it that time? Yep. Is it it's, that time? It's that time. Young and the Restless. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to start off. Summer is getting on my nerves on the Young and the Restless. Oh, that fish mouth. I just can't stand it. That, it's always open. And that young girl is getting on my nerves. This guy shot the chief of police and took Avery hostage, and now she, she's married to him. I'm like, oh, Well, geez. she bypassed the family and went to the banker and got her money to yeah, bail him out. Exactly. So it, eh, it's kind of a little bit of a problem there. But that's, that's that um, young girl syndrome nowadays. They got to have that thug, you know. They got to be either coming out of jail or going to jail. But she's just like her mother. Yeah. She's just, just like, like Phyllis. Phyllis. Yeah. And Where is Phyllis? This is a vacation, isn't it? Oh, there's a new one coming soon. Oh, okay. Yep, she's coming back. It took that long to cast the Phyllis? Uh, it's been a year. Yeah. It's uh, someone that used to be on Guiding Light. You could have threw a blonde wig on me. I'd have played Phyllis for the right <laughs> amount of money. Come on, Red. Come on. <laughs> oh, Red hair. Red. Yeah. <laughs> Not blonde, is she's red, it's, and it's my soap opera. Wow. Um, Nikki and Paul, you talk about a shocker. Whoa, I did not see that coming. No, Dylan is, is Paul's son. Wow. And you know when that blood type thing happened I was like hmm and that's that's classic soap opera now what about Leslie she could get disbarred for what she did yeah but yeah exactly I think I would have told too yeah I would have said you know what this man's a liar I said he cannot father children that is not his son well now now you know he's suing her yeah so but that's that's classic soap opera somebody get hurt in the, the blood test to tell I'm ready for the Sharon Nick Summer is Nick's daughter. It's not Jack's daughter. That's what I'm ready to get. She over needs and another done. shock treatment because yeah. I just can't stand her. Well, right I can now. give her a shock treatment. <laughs> give me about five or six car batteries and some jumper cables. And then she'll and, start telling it all. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you know it'll go in reverse. And then she'll she'll have shock treatment. She'll be Well, what twitching. happened to Devon? He went crazy. Well, he's in love with um his stepmom? His stepmom, yeah. <laughs> That's the same age as him? Oh, she might be younger. Yeah, younger than him. So you got someone younger than you, mm. and that's your stepmom. And, and you love her? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not in that mom way. Then he, he crawls out on the ledge on a building and just throws thousands of dollars. Yeah, make it rain. Make it rain with a $100 bill. Yeah. 
Young and Restless was w went to the ghetto. <laughs> but oh, he's on the top of the roof making. You see the uh, the new rooftop? Yeah, all the the, the little nightclub bar thing. That is that's that's pretty cool. Nice element, nice element to the show. Now, what about this Mariah chick? Oh, uh, um, Cassie Part Two. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I I I think she's gonna eventually get back with Tyler. Yeah, that's that's some of the things that aggravate me with my soap opera. Okay, um, Cassie died. The young girl that's playing Cassie has came back as someone else. It's, it's just why kill Cassie off and bring it back around and well you know Victor he, he was controlling everything on that one so exactly uh, we'll see how that goes you know Victor control everything Victor you know what? Man. Billy boy <laughs> I'm very disappointing with you <laughs> do you think that um, Nikki and Victor are gonna last since Paul's Nicker, uh, Nikki and Victor, <laughs> Nicker, Nicker, Nickerette, Nickerette. <laughs> hey, that's my first on camera bloop. Well, not my first on not camera. Not really. Um, they do they ever last? They're always in and, in and out, in and out, in, in and, and out. out, in and out, back and forth. Okay, well, that's it for that segment. We'll yeah. come back in what two months? Or yeah. Next month. Well, probably two months because of the. Stuff that's going on here at the studio. And they're, then we'll find busy, out who busy. else is getting on yeah, the Yeah, well, it'll be pretty much the same thing. You know how soap operas drag. We'll still be talking about Devon and... Oh, and I hate the new Billy. I'm just saying. I do, too. He looks homeless. His eyes look like coal black, like he doesn't have a pupil at all. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's terrible. <laughs> should we get to our first guest? We should, we should. We should get to our first guest. Um, our first guest tonight is um, the general manager of Howard's Towing. Howard's Toe Master. He's also the sponsor of the Bad Entertainment Dance Team. Yay. Our first Yay. big, big, big sponsor. Um, I want you guys to give a warm Bad Entertainment welcome to Jerry Kending. Even. Thank you. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah! Go, Jerry! Uh, 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 rock it out, rock it out. Who's that? Singing that song. Um. Oh, mm -hmm. see, uh, that's my first one. Uh, oh, Sammy Hagar. Hagar. Yeah, I went blank. Sorry. <clears throat> well, Jerry, Jerry, I've known you for a long time. It's been a while. And you have been a part of the community. In what roles? Oh my gosh, <laughs> been many, many for many years. Uh, done a lot of community volunteer work. Um, worked in, for the city. Uh, Couple businesses in the city of Elkhart uh, do a lot of volunteer uh, organizations. Um, uh, Optimus Club. Uh, I mean, it goes on and on and on for many years. I, I've been emergency management for 13 years now. Well, I uh, think I met you, city council. City councilman. How many mm. years did you do uh, that? Just four years. That was enough. <laughs> <laughs> now, what district were you? Sixth district. And that's considered where? As uh, far kind of stretched out from kind of the kind of the central all the way to the south side of the city to, and to the west side. Kind of a long, narrow strip of the city there. Yeah. Okay, so how did you end up getting into towing? That's, it was an interesting, uh, uh, I, a, another gentleman that was on the council at the same time, uh, Stan Glanders, who owned mm -hmm. Master Automotive, was at the time looking for a towing company and found one that was for sale. Uh, there was a police officer actually was running that company at the time and uh, of course he didn't know how to run it himself, and I had several years' experience in business management and so forth. And he approached me and said, "Hey, how would you like to run a towing company?" I said, "I don't know which end of the car goes on the hook." Uh -oh. <laughs> and, uh, oh. So he says, "Well, we'll have guys take care of that. You just need to run the business." So that's where it all started. And of course, I've come a long ways in the last ten years learning <laughs> which end of the car goes on the hook. But uh, but yeah, it's been real interesting, and you know, we support. Uh, several law enforcement uh, agencies in towing. We do uh, a lot of body shops and garages. We, uh, you know, we do a lot of private towing. Uh, we do transport of cars across northern Indiana, Illinois, Ohio. Yeah, I think uh, I got towed once. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Jerry. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the towing we have to do for law enforcement isn't always what people want us to do but yeah. what do you hear it wasn't marked there was no sign right yeah there's always uh you know there's always something you know expired plates or no insurance or no parking <laughs> signs you know it's it's always something yeah, <laughs> you know. yeah i hear them all believe me yeah. yeah so 
do you think this is something that you're going to retire? I mean, you want... Oh, yes, I'm going to retire. retire <laughs> <laughs> with the towing, or do you think oh, yeah. adventuring is something else? <coughs> no, no, I'm, I'm ready to give it up. I uh, probably, uh, by the end of next year, I plan to be someplace with a little warmer climate and sitting in my little easy chair with my little cocktail and listening to the waves beat against the sand. Some I, Jimmy yeah. Buffett? Yeah, a little Jimmy Buffett, <laughs> yeah. yeah Margarita Bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I've, uh, you know, I've, I've served my time, I think. It's time to move on kind of slow down yeah you know, absolutely great well how did you get involved with Michael actually I actually met Mike in a in a volunteer position with emergency management um, uh, Mike was a volunteer there and that's where we kind of met and uh, you know learned a little bit about what Mike was doing I think I first time I really got involved was with a food drive mm -hmm. a year ago yeah, yeah and we organized a collection collected food and uh, had a little bit of a showing with some squad cars and brought the food to the facility with the sirens going and so forth and unloaded you know, that it. Was really nice. that <laughs> yeah. was really nice. It was kind nice of fun and that. That got some fun. attention from the people and uh, you know we collected quite a bit of food. Uh, certainly always want more but uh, got quite a bit of food and uh, you know tried to tried to support everybody and and, th and that's the thing uh, you know we love to you know support children and, and you know the community but especially the children. We really have a soft spot for the kids always do and uh, well, that's yeah. great. Um, I really want to say thank you on oh. camera. Um, I had I have a special something planned for you, um, and next month that um, you got to wait till next month. <laughs> but I, I want to say thank you. You were my first big sponsor for the Bad Entertainment Dance Team. Thank you. And that's <laughs> that's Yay. that's a that's that's a hard feat to get people to yeah. sponsor. You know, because they, they love what we do with the kids and everything. I'm keeping the kids off the street, and I'm taking them to Ohio. They're performing at Cedar Point, and I'm taking them on dance tour and stuff like that. Hey, why don't you be a sponsor? Well, I, you know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys are good. Yeah. <laughs> so I really yeah. want to say thank you very much for being my and sponsor with my dance We've really team. enjoyed it. We, you know, we enjoy watching the, the children, and, uh, you know, we think you're doing some great things with the kids. and. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, those, those children are really our future. So. And the kids, they love his logo on their sleeve. Because <laughs> I took all my shirts back from my dancers, mm -hmm. all my, my, my team shirts this year. And we have Jerry's logo on the sleeve. We have the Toll Master on the sleeve. And all the kids, man, look at that, little, that truck on our <laughs> So, yeah, they, they thought that was really neat. <coughs> yeah. So, were they in a video? Did they do a, a safety video? Did they help do that? We uh, haven't done that yet. Done okay. We still, video. we still, yeah. we're still working on that yeah, to get someone to shoot it. That's the, that's what we yeah. got to hang up. Production of it's gonna. Be. Yeah. And and what's the background behind this video? Well, we try to inform uh, against unsafe driving and such things as you know texting and driving is a big thing these days, uh, but it goes much farther than that. You know, during prom time, we look at. You know, unfortunately, some children still get involved with alcohol, and it's certainly worse when they're out there in a car. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's really much better than it has been over some past years, but there's always room for improvement. Um, you know, we encourage when teens are out there driving that, you know, slow down. You know, it's real easy to talk to your friends in the back seat, to get distracted by the music and all the things that really go on. So we try to to inform them of what the consequences of that can be. Um, we've had groups come to our facility and look at actual automobiles that have been damaged in accidents where children or teens were involved and, you know, were, you know, something, just some little instance like listening to the radio or texting or something like that certainly had a, a role to play in it. It only you know. takes a second. And it's, uh, yeah, and it's always, you know, we, <clears throat> we do a lot of accident scenes, but it's always tougher when you walk up there and know there was children involved. It's exactly. always tough. So, so what are you going to do yeah. on Community Day for? This we are community? going to uh, supply a uh, one of our large trucks down there. Um, we are going to uh, try to do some collection of some some uh, non-perishable foods between now and then that'll be donated that day. Uh, we've got some uh, handouts that we're going to give away that day. Some little, little little magnet tow trucks and so forth that we'll be giving away. Um, uh, just you know, a, a number of things we're going to help out with, you know, things that Mike needs done. You know so what you should give we'll out. Make some, make some <laughs> donation to him. Coupons. 
coupons for talking. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the kids don't get really excited about a few. Yeah, yeah. You give that to mom and dad. Yeah, give it to mom and dad. Yeah. Now, with all the reality TV out there, do you watch South Beach Toe? You know, I can't lie. I have watched it. Now, we don't do any of those kind. We don't do. Yes, you do. No, we don't do. We don't do. We don't do repossessions. Book and book. Book and book. We don't do repossessions. That's not our business. Uh, <laughs> and it's interesting, really, to watch those. Uh, we'll see there's you. a couple other towing t uh, shows on TV that are a little closer to what we Is really it do. Miami. Yeah, well, there's, there's, one in Miami. there's one about Alaska where they the ice roads in Alaska where they tow semis and that kind of thing and yeah that's a little more interesting to me than the repossessing cars and that the kind South of thing. The South Beach tow. Yeah. yeah. See, I want to meet Bernice. I, I like <laughs> oh, yeah, she'd, yeah, she'd be yeah, she'd be pretty well. Yeah. And Dave. Bernice. Yeah. Yeah. Bernice. Well, I've, I've seen those commercials. I've never seen the show. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I've they are so I've funny. I've never seen South Beach Toe. I've never seen it. I mean, yeah, when you have a woman that can throw a man oh, in a yeah. trash oh, can. Oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Pretty intense. Impressed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Oh. Um. Lizard Lick. Towing. Oh yeah, oh, yeah Lizard, Lizard Lick. Lick. Yeah, that's an interesting show too. <laughs> but that's that's more <laughs> repossession too. That's yeah, a lot of repossessions too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's more repossession too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and have you ever noticed his sayings? They're those old, like wetter than a hot. You know, he's always. <laughs> you, they're like this long, and it's like, how does he come up with that? He's madder <laughs> than a hen with curlers yeah, yeah, on a bad day and some, yeah, a he's Sunday got some afternoon. Real, some real slang there. He's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny, yeah. Yeah, that's that's and a pretty wife. cool show. Yeah, his wife's. She's, she's tough. She rules the roost, don't yeah. she? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I saw her fight a man and pregnant. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw that episode. Yeah. That that was pretty cool. Great shows. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well. We just don't have our own show yet. <laughs> well, you never know. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Maybe better the time we can do something about that. <laughs> <laughs> I got enough stuff going on. <laughs> no, you don't. Come on, bring it on, bring it on. So, I hear you're going to Ohio. Yes, we're going to uh, accompany Mike and the dance team to Cedar Point to uh, watch him perform. Sure are. And you know, um, to show that type of support, you oh. know, because you're sponsoring this team, is it's really great. Oh, thank you. We're looking forward to it. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for being here. Thank you very thank much you for having Thank you, Jerry. Me. Thank you, Mike. And we're back. And our special guest now is Miss Maya Smith. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, mm -hmm. oh, we're <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> I, I was way somewhere else. <laughs> How are you, young lady? I'm doing absolutely wonderful. Great to have you here, Thank representing you. McDonald's for the food drive. Yes. And Community Day, yes. Elkhart County Youth Fest. Yes. And uh, McDonald's is the sponsor of the Tolson Center. Yes. And shirts that the staff wear. Absolutely. We have a different color every day. And so when they go on trips, it's so uniform and you can identify who is staff and it looks so great and we just want to say thank you. You're very welcome, absolutely. We love it. We absolutely love sponsoring you. I'm loving it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, your next generation owner operator. Yes. Explain that to us. Okay, basically what that means is my dad, he's the front runner in it all. And so with me being a next generation, basically being his child, then they consider me or title me as a next generation owner operator. So I still have to go through the same program as far as what I need to do to get approved, being in the store, running a store, that type of thing. And um, so since I'm next generation, then they just title me next generation. Now, do you have other siblings yes. that are in the... That are, they're not in the program, but they are interested in being in the program and actually becoming own operators in the future. Wow. Yes. But you're not originally from here. I'm not. And where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas. And you made it all the way up here to Indiana. Yes, I <laughs> did. Yes, absolutely. Up here with all the corn. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so how long have you been in the area? I've been here since, for about a year now, because it was July of last year when I came. Okay. And, um, and it, it is definitely a transition because being from Houston, Texas, and to be here with the weather, I mean, they said if I made it past this winter, 
I was good. So I was like, okay, no problem. Polar vortex. I had never <laughs> heard of that until. <laughs> I was like, wow. They said a state of emergency. I was like, okay, really? So, yes, I've made it. Welcome to Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Glad to be here. You just never know. And, you yes. know, now people are complaining about the heat. And just yes. a couple months ago, it was, it was freezing it was cold. Yes. cold. I but would I, have a heat. But I do love it here as far as having the four seasons because in Houston, you know, it's, it's hot all the time. Sometimes we get somewhat of a winter, but here, you know, I love the, the four seasons. So you can actually see the leaves falling. You can see it get cold, it get hot, spring comes. So I do enjoy that. Now, um, did you attend college? Did you go to college? Yes, and I graduated from the University of Houston Central Campus. My major was accounting, so I'm actually a certified public accountant. Okay. Um, practice at Deloitte and Touche, the number one accountant firm in the country. Oh, they so, do the pageants. <laughs> or don't, yeah, they do pageants. Yes, yes, they, they do. do the, the yes, they yes, do. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yes, that's what I've done. So, so that's my background. how did your, can I call him Harry or Mr. Smith? Harry or? Either one, yes. How did he get involved with McDonald's? Well, that was his first and only job at the age of 16. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yes. And so that's what he did. He started out in McDonald's at the bottom. He worked his way all the way up. And that's why we always let the brand new crew that come in know that when you come in as a crew, that doesn't mean you can't end up being an owner operator. Exactly. You know, so they think, oh, well, I'm just making minimum wage. This can be a career for the rest of your life. You know, so. Now, can, how does, is there like a college? Or is there, I know like another. Hamburger University? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people, <laughs> people ask me that all the time. Is that really real? It really is. Because you can actually get college credits um, towards um, a university by just going to our management classes. And so there is a Hamburger University. You go to Hamburger University for um, when you get ready to be a general manager. You go to Hamburger University and you get certified and you get credits for that. We have a program called Learning Management System within McDonald's. It's like the McDonald's lingo for the managers to learn. And so you get credits as when you go through those programs. So yes, there is a Hamburger University. Wow, they're, that's interesting. Their math guys are head of lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see. Wow. Yes. And, and we're back. You need a break. Yeah. <laughs> I need a break today. Get Come over to McDonald's. McDonald's yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Mighty wings. They're mighty good and they're mighty gone. What's up? I, I, I want those wings all the time. Really? Well, the thing is, you know, since you want them so much and other people want them so much, we it's just not even realistically possible to keep up with the demand nationwide. So that's why we have it as a limited time offer. So that's why it's seasonal. That's why you'll notice some of the things that we don't put on the actual menu menu is because of that. So is it hard to introduce new items? Not necessarily hard to introduce new items. It just depends on what the recipe is for it. Because the thing is, McDonald's has excellent quality on all the products. So therefore, we take the best of the best whenever we launch out any type of new product. So whenever we try to meet the demand, we don't want to be second standard on any product we roll out. So that's why it makes it harder to keep certain products for a longer period of time. Just like you say, oh, I love those Mighty Wings. I loved them too. I mean, the wings were really big. They had a good kick to them. They were seasoned very well. And so to keep that type of quality long term, it, it's not as practical nationwide. And so that's why when we roll it out, we we'll roll it out in different months, different seasons of the year for different parts of the U.S. So that's why. Wow, wow, wow. Now, yes. you meet at the Tolson Center, what, twice a month? Yes. You come and visit us? Yes. And you see your banners up. Yes. Now, the kids, when they, they think they're getting McDonald's when they see that sign. <laughs> <laughs> so when we come we for our McDonald's. <laughs> and so, so when we come for the manager's meetings, they're waiting on us to bring McDonald's. <laughs> oh, we get McDonald's goodness. today. <laughs> wow, okay. Because we let them know, yes. well, you, you can't go in here today because McDonald's is meeting here. Oh, Miss Risha, we get McDonald's. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, well, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> but you know, they, they see you there and they yes. tie Tolson in to McDonald's or vice versa. Yes. So they know that your partner is sponsoring us. Yes. And also on our shirts. Yes. So, and we like to say we appreciate everything that you do for us. 
How you feel? Welcome, absolutely. What, what is, just tell them to come out to the event on the 26th because we will be giving our coupons for McDonald's. Adults so they can, and children. Adults right? and That's right. <laughs> adults and children. So tell them to come out so they can get some free McDonald's food. And I'll keep that as a note, a mental note, because we'll be <laughs> back there on Monday. <laughs> and goodie bags. They're getting yes. goodie bags. And Ronald McDonald. <clears throat> yes, at 1 o'clock. Yep, he's going to do they a meet and greet. have to be there by 1 o'clock. Yes, yes. And a photo op, and I think I'm going to get my picture taken too because I don't think I've ever had one. Really? I don't think I have. Have you? With Ronald? No. And, you know, we've been around Ronald a lot in our other shows mm -hmm. and stuff, and we've so busy when we produce a show or whatever, it's, we've never had a picture with Ronald. Oh, well, this will so, be the first. So hopefully we're not that busy that day. So, what, what exactly are you guys planning on doing on well, the 26th? Okay, well, we'll have the table. And you know that McDonald's is one of the largest employers for the youth, for really just any age group. And so therefore, we'll, be ha we'll have applications, so they'll be able to fill out applications for hiring. And we actually employ individuals because we own 11 locations in the area, Elkhart, Goshen, um, Mishawaka, um, Wakarusa, Ligonier, you know, in those areas. So therefore, they'll fill out the application. They can go to any one of our locations for employment. We'll have nutrition information, so you'll know how many calories the different items are. I heard you earlier making a joke about a particular song, but you can come to McDonald's and eat healthy. We have so <laughs> many items that are under 300 calories. Yes, absolutely. You know, so therefore, they'll get the nutrition guide. Um, we we'll talk about hiring. They'll also get the goodie bags. Ronald will be coming at 1 o'clock. Now, I don't know exactly exactly how long he'll stay. So anybody that is interested in seeing Ronald, be sure to come at one o'clock. And so um, we'll give out the coupons, the BOG, so they can get free food for adults and children. We'll have the orange bowls for our juice. And I believe they're giving out hot dogs, something like that's gonna happen. Okay. Yep. We're gonna make that happen. Wonderful. And speaking of community, yes. there's an award. Somebody's Yay. getting an award to, is it tomorrow. It is tomorrow. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Yes, absolutely. Well, the superintendent for the um, Elkhart Community Schools, Rob Hayworth. Uh, yes, Hayworth. Hayworth. I didn't want to mispronounce his name. <laughs> <laughs> Stick on that. And um, what he did is he um, he contacted us to let us know that my dad is one of the honorees. They are honoring four people, and it's in recognition or in memory of an individual that has been like a champion for the youth. And his name is Craig. Fulmer, and so he recently passed. We lost him. So therefore, he's always stood up for different things and different issues for the youth. And so what they wanted to do is have an award in honor of Craig Fulmer. So therefore, four people are honorees, and so my dad is one of them. And so the award is its um, the theme of the event for their first annual um, summit is about integrity, responsibility, honor, leadership, respect. And so therefore, my dad has been involved in the community for so long, and so I'm so excited about him getting this award. And so I love to brag about my dad all the time. And you should. Yes. Yay. Yes. 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 <laughs> so to Mr. Harry Smith. Yay. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. <laughs> well, yes. we appreciate everything uh, sponsoring the center, uh, the leagues, and we'll see you on July 26th. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Maybe Thank you. Maybe I can start sponsoring Better Entertainment Dance Team. Plug, plug, mm. plug. <laughs> <laughs> we have talked about that, so yeah. yes, we'll be definitely getting with you. Okay, well, yes, thank you. Thank you so welcome. much for coming on the show and representing Madonna so eloquently. Thank I really you. Appreciate thank it. you for thank having you. me. Thank we'll you. We'll be right back with our next special guest here on the Bad Entertainment Show. Woohoo! And we're back, Michiana. How you guys doing out there? Woohoo! We're coming up with our next special guest. I want you guys to give a big Michiana welcome to Mr. Clyde Riley. Thank you. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Special song. Hey, That's right. Hey. Come on, man. Especially Come that on. beginning. Come, Come on, on, man. man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Inside joke, Michiana. <laughs> That's just what we do. This is Mr. Clyde Riley. He's the director of the Tolson Community Center in Elkhart, Indiana. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Enjoying being here. Well, you have a long-standing tie with the community of Elkhart. That's what I hear. What, what, do you, what do you say? I've been around for a few years. <laughs> <laughs> I actually came to Elkhart um, over 30, 30 plus years ago as an uh, administrator for the Elkhart schools, and I've been an administrator for over 33 years. And 
retired from the schools and started working for Tulsa, City of Elkhart. Now, did you always want to be a teacher? I always wanted to be a teacher, a physician, or a coach, and so I'm kind of doing, my career led me to do all of those things um, because I, I've taught several subjects and, and mentored a lot of kids and coached a lot of sports. Oh, yeah. Note to self. Mr. Riley to teach art class yes. at Tolson. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. He's yeah. An art teacher. Yeah, oh. My first teaching job in Marion, Indiana, Marion High School, was an art teacher. And I taught art. That's how I got my start. And I let kids know that you have to be prepared to teach like your minor because art was my minor. Mm -hmm. And um, but I was that was the job that opened up and that's the job that I took, my yeah. first job. Yeah, I never knew that. Yeah. See? One must always endeavor to find some interesting variation. Exactly. Hey. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> are, are you getting educated, Miss <laughs> Everybody, everybody just grab notebooks at home. Yeah. They open up the Joker. What did he just say? What was that? We can say, take a take a note on that. <laughs> now you came to Tulsa about a month after I did. Yes. And you had a a vision for Tulsa. Yes. Can you just let us know some of the things that you envision and some of the things that are in play now. Okay. Well, the vision I have for Tolson is one of connecting with a community. And I really feel that um, Tolson is a hub for the community and should be a connection for all aspects of the community. And, and so my vision is to make Tolson uh, actually to re, uh, have them reborn again. Um, Tolson used to have a, a better reputation, a more um, uh, activity with with the community and so my, my vision was to reconnect uh, with the community and make it truly a community center uh, which means that we want to be for the kids who who live across the street and for the kids who are from the outskirts of the community and we want to have quality programs so that it would attract all of those people and one thing I can say about Clyde is when he is out at um, he's on a how many boards? Like 10? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's always going to a meeting. He's on the board. But he always rec recognizes the staff and says, we are a team. And right. we appreciate that. Right. That you mention us even though we aren't there. Right. And Tolson is where it is because of the team approach and because of the staff. And I, I do let the community know that and people that I talk to. Um, I, I credit the success of Tolson as a result of the staff. So that, that is true. <laughs> and you have a connection with uh, Bad Entertainment as well in a different light. Oh, well, yes. I have a granddaughter who t taps toes and <laughs> follows beat. And she needed a little bit more instruction because she, you know, she had two left feet when I think Mike met her. <laughs> <laughs> she was worried about her addition, but she's enjoyed it. It's been a good outlet for her for social, um, you know, to help her with her confidence. And, you know, one of the things that kids are deficient of is they're not confident sometimes. And I think what we can do to give them more confidence, they can be more of a uh, involved participant rather than a detached spectator. Yeah, Justice has became one of my star dancers mm -hmm. on the dance team. And um, I test them a lot. I test my yeah. dancers a lot and they don't know I'm testing them. And one thing I've been doing with Justice lately is I'll walk out of the room, out of the rehearsal space, which I, happens to be at, at Tulsa. Tulsa. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, um, Justice, you're in charge. Show them the dance routine and I'll walk out. Yeah. What? what? <laughs> the first time I did oh, that. Oh, deer in the headlights. Yeah. <laughs> but now she's just on it. Okay, you guys there? And she's right on it. So, yeah. Build that confidence up. And you know, you you said that you saw the team kind of change since you first saw them till now. Yes. Um, I think Bad Entertainment has improved every, every time I've seen them perform. And it's not just a slight improvement, it's been a remarkable improvement. And I have told um, Mike and Tammy and Risha and everybody in, involved that I, I'm really impressed with how hard they worked and the results are showing. You know. 
the harder you work, the luckier you get, I guess. I've exactly. always learned. So that, you know, you work hard, good things will happen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, their, their dance rehearsals are pretty intense every mm -hmm. Sunday. Yeah. I mean, we have dance rehearsals, and you're not the only one that said that, you mm -hmm. know, um, other Tolson staff members, mm -hmm. they'll come in and out on Sundays and see our rehearsal. And um, then they come to the show. But well, Mike, when I saw you guys at rehearsal, you're standing around talking and barely moving. Then I come to a show and I'm blown away. I'm like, yeah, we're not playing around in there. <laughs> <laughs> it might look like we're playing around in there, but we're, we're yeah. serious in there. So talk to us about Community Day and what it's going to mean to you and Tulsa on that day. Well, real excited about Community Day. It's going to be an effort um, that has been extended from uh, Tulsa and Bad Entertainment. Now it's going to be a community-wide effort to um, recognize the youth and have a festival for them and also our main theme is to uh, provide food for the Northern Indiana Food Bank and church community services so it has a win-win-win theme um, and so we want to uh, celebrate our youth uh, we want to provide activities for them and give the the entire Elkhart County an opportunity to uh, celebrate the youth and, and give them information, provide them entertainment uh, for a worthy cause of providing food for our, our county. So it's, 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 a, it's a wonderful activity and we're expecting thousands of people to attend uh, for this six, seven hour venture that we're all doing together. And you know, it's, it's more important now because there's just been a little shuffle going on in our area and I think if they see everyone together on one day, maybe we can change some of the mindsets of what's going on. Exactly. And you asked me in the beginning uh, some of the things that, that was in the vision that I have, and one of those things is to connect. And I think I'm really proud that the Elkhart uh, County is starting to sit down and have conversations about what we can do together to um, raise awareness, help our youth, and work together. And I think that's very important that we continue to do that. What are some of the new programs that's coming up at Tolson? Well, right now we're involved in a youth summer program, and that's a, a, a wonderful comprehensive program dealing with education activities, uh, arts and crafts, and field trip opportunities for young students in the ages, uh, grades of uh, one through six. Uh, we also have a basketball uh, uh, league that's starting this summer. Um, that hasn't been involved in the last seven years, and we just activated that again. We're real happy about that. Uh, we have a uh, Council on Aging um, mentor program going on. Um, not mentor program, I'm sorry, but Council on Aging um, senior program that's going on. So we're trying to uh, include those kind of things and, and uh, just provide quality programs um, for the community. And you know, the past week, um, the community outreach at Tolson, yes. we were able to recruit how many? 12 new students for the program? Yes. So. Yes. Really getting out there to yep. the community is it's, very it's important. It's getting around. It's, it's really working. So, you know, you guys, once again, the Food Drive Community Day is Saturday, July 26th, the last Saturday of this month, from noon to 6. Entertainment's going to run to 7, 8, 9. I keep getting asked <laughs> for the entertainment. <laughs> Sound like LeBron James. Yeah. Bring not your non-perishable <laughs> food items. Bring, I mean, bring us food. Bring us non-perishable food items down to the Tosin Center, uh, 1320 Benham Avenue in Elkhart. It's going to be a great day. Entertainment, lots of information. Uh, McDonald's going to be there. Yes. Nicky B's. Ronald. 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 Ronald himself. <laughs> Ronald himself. Mr. Riley, Clyde, thank you so much for thank being on the much. show, talking Mike, about thank Tosin. You, Always. Thank you. Really appreciate it. <laughs> we'll be right back. We got one more guest, Miss Yana. Be right back. And we're back, Miss Yana. Hello. 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 That's wonderful. <laughs> Madea just taking over from Michael Wells. Hello. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Girl, if you don't stop popping. Look, right. girl, stop popping that gum. <laughs> <laughs> that gets her every time. <laughs> no, you know, you want to know what gets her to giggling? Oh my no. God, no. <laughs> Kevin, oh my God, no. no. Okay. <laughs> you guys hear this giggling off camera. No. It's our next guest. I want you to say hi, Miss Shanna, to Danielle Spencer. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of that, you performed last year yes, at I the did. food drive, and you turned it <laughs> out. Yes, Not you know, all. We could have. I yeah. forgot the guys here at the studio told us, you know, when we do stuff like that, we can send in videos. Well, we and need they can, to. We should have sent that video in of you performing last year so it could have. Oh, my. <laughs> and it was oh a family. Yes, it yeah. was. It was a family affair. It was me and my mom and my sister, Angel, my youngest sister. It was fun. Well, I, I saw the tape and I was just amazed because <laughs> working with you, you would never know that you could throw down like that on the microphone. <laughs> That's what a lot of people think, especially when I'm at school. It's wow. Like a, it's a surprise. Like. <laughs> now, how, now, you are a Tulsa employee, yes, and how long have you been employed with Tulsa? Two years. Two years now. And you, you left us, went to college. Um, what has changed about Tulsa? A lot. The game room, you know, you guys <laughs> added um, an extra pool table. Um, just a lot of things. The money that Mr. Riley's bringing in, doing good things. There's even more kids. Uh, I'm, I'm excited just to see new faces every time I come through. And you can do what? Oh, we can exercise now in the gym. <laughs> exercise in the cage. In there the we cage. Go. Coffee, in the, the cage. cage. Exercise in the cage. That, that, that makes me want to flash back to a WWF, you know, the Hulk Hogan in the cage. I don't know about you, brother, but, yeah. but tonight at Tosin, it's going down when these body pythons come down on you. <laughs> oh, we need to have uh, Big Mike Johnson here, my gosh. Man, you just took me back. <laughs> so your singing background actually goes back to whom in your family? Gosh, everyone sings. Majority of everyone sings but my mother. I got it from her. I, I started it with my mom. And she has a CD or recorded a CD? Not or, that I, no. Or she's been? She's been in a lot of karaoke competitions and she's in church now um, doing a lot of great things. Lead, she's the leader now. I, I believe the leader of the alto section. Okay. Or soprano. I don't know which one, but she's having a big name in the choir now, so I'm very proud of her. Good, good, my good. My inspiration. Vocally. Now, you also have a sister. Yes, I do. That works at Tolson and is going to be leaving us to go to college. Same college as I am. Okay, are you going to room together? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's, good for, it's good for her to find herself by herself. Yeah. Get it up and at home. Yes, yeah. I know. I get that. 19 years of it. So we're, 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 we're talking about Danielle singing and everything. You want to hear her sing, Miss Yes. Yeah. Woo! We'll be right back and Danielle's going to sing for you. Once again, you guys, July 26th, Tolson Center, Elkhart, Indiana. Great day. Come out, bring your non-perishable food items. We have all kind of entertainers. And here's one. Michiana, give it up. Danielle Spencer. Just something 
given, you take, it's given Round and around and around and around we go Oh, oh now tell me, now tell me, now tell me, now you know Really sure how to feel about it. It's something in the way you move makes me feel like I can't live without you, and it takes me all the way. I want you to stay. You're the broken one, but I'm the only one that needed saving. Cause when you never seen the light, it's hard to know which one of us is caving. Not really sure how to feel about it. It's something in the way you move. Makes me feel like I can't live without you. It takes me all the way I want you to stay Stay Danielle Spencer, Mishawaka. Great job, young lady. I want to thank all our, hit that, hit that outro there, DJ Big Daddy Keith Hayne. I want to thank all our special guests, Mr. Clyde Riley, Woo! Smith, Jerry, Danielle, my co-host, Risha. Like I said, don't forget, Saturday, July 26th, the Tolson Center, Elkhart, Indiana, 1320 Benham Avenue. Bring your non-perishable food items. Food drive from 6, from 12 to noon, from 12 to noon, uh -oh. from 12 to 6. <laughs> Entertainment to 7 or 8. Be out there. Have a good time. See you next time, Michiana. Peace. Bye. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out.